read by Bethan Mulvan. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called to her. Please take some cake to your grandma, she said. She's not feeling too well. So, Little Red Riding Hood set off on her journey through the forest to Grandma's house. Before long, she met a wolf. Where are you going? he growled, which might have scared some little girls. But not this little girl. To my grandma's, Little Red replied. She's not feeling well. Is that right? said the wolf. And he made a plan. What do you think his plan is? Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma, he has plans to make them lunch. The wolf said goodbye to Little Red Riding Hood, took a shortcut through the trees and found Grandma's house. Which was unlucky for Grandma. He put on her glasses and spare nightdress and climbed into Grandma's bed and there he waited. It wasn't long before Little Red arrived and found the door to Grandma's house was already open. She peeked in through the window. Inside she couldn't see Grandma. But she could see a badly disguised wolf waiting in Grandma's bed. Which might have scared some little girls. But not this little girl. She made a plan and went inside. Hello, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. And though she wasn't fooled for a minute, she played along with the wolf's disguise. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have, she said. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have, she said. And, oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have, she said. Why, yes, my dear, replied the wolf. All the better to eat you with. And the wolf leapt forwards which might have scared some little girls. But not this little girl, which was unlucky for the wolf. What do you think she's wearing? What's her new coat made out of? And that is the 